Hey everyone, it's Ray here again with another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019.5 Forest River Sierra 403RD model. This is a destination trailer, so this unit is more designed to take somewhere and park by the lakeside or something along those lines. Uh, when you get a chance, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe below if you're interested in keeping up with some of my videos. Take a few minutes, walk you through the outside and inside of this new coach. Um, we're going to start here in the kitchen. You have the residential refrigerator, 20 cubic foot. So you have your freezer on bottom, refrigerator on top. They have a new oven and stove top in the 19 and a half version. So you have the upgraded Furion stove top and oven. This oven has a light timer, larger size auto lighting, has the glass door, has the three burner stove top that is gas with an auto lighter on it also. You have the large microwave. Nice size pantry area here. You have some drawers down below, full extending ball bearing drawer guides. Also has the upgraded Euro hinges that are the soft close hinges. And same thing with the drawers, the soft close drawers. So a little bit more expensive hardware used than some other destination trailers that we have to offer quite a bit of space over here you have a little counter area it's great to put your coffee pots or toasters something along those lines there looking toward the front of the coach you will have another little area over there some counter space with electric outlets on both sides so you could set some things there and plug them in also. Island Kitchen has a little blue LED light thing there. You have your propane leak detector and an electric outlet on the side here. A light switch for that blue LED. High rise faucet. Nice solid surface countertops. This one was ordered with the fantastic fan option in the ceiling you can see there. That has a wall control so you don't have to get a step stool to raise and lower that vent. The unit has the roller shades for blinds. Freestanding dinette. Two traditional RV chairs come with it. You can option in two folding chairs too if you want. So you don't have to get them, uh, but you can if you want. Up here on the side of the wall, you have your uh, light switches, awning switch, um, slide out in and out buttons. Those type of things are there. The fantastic fan control, the uh, few extra wall switches there for some of your lighting. Hallway going into the bathroom bedroom area. Nice big tall ceilings, tall slide outs also. This one was ordered with the optional central vac which is right here. On the door to the left we have our bathroom area here now this customer chose to order theirs with the optional residential toilet this is available most dealers honestly don't stock it this way because you lose the holding tank on the toilet so you have to be plumbed directly into a sewer system there's no tank to catch the stuff from there so that is an available option if you want to do that Quite a bit of room here in the shower area though, so you do have the nicer glassed in shower, upgraded shower bar and head also, it's adjustable. 
skylight up above the wood medicine cabinet going up toward the front here you have linoleum floor throughout the bedroom here nightstand on each side of the bed there electric outlet on each side of the bed some nice overhead cabinets was ordered with the ceiling fan in the bedroom here and you can also see the ducted air vents the LED lights up there and your air conditioner there this unit has a slide out in the bedroom but it is a big closet slide instead of the bed actually sliding out a lot of room around the foot of the bed area here in floor ducted heat panning up the wall there you're seeing an electric outlet down there some light switches ceiling fan controls air conditioning control and you have a place up high for a flat screen TV it's kinda nice it's up out of the way you tilt it downward so you can see it easier when you're lying in bed big closet over here or washer dryer prep area depending on what you want to use it for but you can use it either way and then up above they have another little storage space area there some of the electronics there for slide controls quite a bit of room in the bedroom you have a window on both sides of the headboard of the bed and then you got a good size window which is also an emergency exit there overlooking your campsite the bed does raise up for storage underneath of there going to the rear of the coach you have a second sliding glass door there so two sliding glass doors on this model you have three seats in here the one in each slide out is a sofa bed so you could sleep four people back here overhead cabinets above those sofas nice rear entertainment wall against the back of the coach there and you have a flat screen TV USB charging ports back there electric outlets back there electric fireplace uh, your uh, stereo system, stereo DVD system, all right there. Also, you can see there is a roof vent back here. They have an option for the Fantastic Fan to go back here, too, if you wanted to do that. This customer chose just to leave it as a regular one. Ceiling fan back here. Now the third sofa is against the kitchen wall back here. Looking straight at the TV, it is your reclining theater seat sofa. It has light up cup holders and little LED lights below. You can turn those off and on by double tapping the cup holder piece there. The rear ceiling fan switch on the wall right there. Be sure to also check out CouchesRVNation.com website, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Toll free number 888-417-8299, extension 203 will get you directly to me. We're going to take a few minutes to walk you through the outside of the coach around that area here. Now, the coach comes standard with traditional RV steps. Most people, again, this is a park model, so a lot of people build a deck around them or uh, buy the mobile home style steps to go around there. We'll stand back here a little bit, try and get back here so you can see a little bit down the side better. 
It's in the garage. It just came in to get service and prepped. So I don't have a huge amount of room out here to walk you around, but try to get the best we can. Two outdoor speakers. There's outdoor TV hookups there if you wanted to do TV hookups. <coughs> Deep tent safety glass windows. You have the power awning with the LED light strip. This one was ordered with the uh, scissor jack stabilizers. You don't have to get those. You can do the traditional blocking of the camper, which some people choose to do. Take the wheels and stuff like that off. Um, does have a full enclosed underbelly. On the front of the coach, you have your traditional tongue, 2 and 5 16 hitch ball, two 30-pound propane tanks, room for a battery to go there. You also have a hitch light there, and you can pan up a little bit. The roof overhangs a little bit. You can see a little porch light up there also that uh, aims downward. There's a step light on that step. Some informational stickers there, aluminum superstructure, vacuum bonded sidewalls, um, also uh, equipped with Wi-Fi router ranger extender. That is new for the uh, 19 and a half version. You'll see your seasonal protection package sticker. Now the awning does cover the middle slide out there in the kitchen and the back door also. So you have traditional RV step back here, this sliding door too. But you have quite a bit of awning coverage for the coach. Backing up here to the rear of the camper, you can see this one was ordered with the ladder. You have your standard four inch square tube bumper also was ordered with the slide out awning covers now if you do order it from the factory with the slide out awning covers it covers all the tops of the slides except for the one under the main awning uh, they interfere with each other when they're opening the main awning so they do not put that on there so that is something to keep in mind when you order it with those features 50 amp electric service on the coach is standard this one, again, was ordered with dual ACs. You can see it up there somewhat, the rear AC there. Both ACs are ducted. On the back here is your cable and satellite hookups. Coming around to this side, you have your 10-gallon gas electric water heater. Furnace exhaust out right there. Standard wheels, no sense in doing anything fancy on aluminum wheels for a park model. If it's just going to be taken off or have a deck built around it, you won't see them anyway. Stove exhaust right there. City water hookup right here. And the drain for the gray side of things. Also a fresh water tank drain down below there. So you still get your gray tanks, but not the black tank if you do that residential toilet. You can see up top there, little uh, antenna for your Wi-Fi thing and also your uh, TV digital antenna as well. Again, my name's Ray. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if interested in checking out more videos. Um, informational stickers. Camper was built 11-2 of 18. Again, 403RD. VIN number, two 6,000-pound axles. Plus, you have hitch weight. Gross vehicle weight of the camper, 13268, which is your axle weight and hitch weight combined. Tires, ST23580R16E range tires. 
Thanks for checking out my video. Again, CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money.